Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into a tutorial on the PTU. In today's video, we'll be exploring why the PTU is crucial for the A320's hydraulic system, when and how the PTU operates, operational tips and inhibition criteria, and what that strange barking noise actually means. The PTU, or Power Transfer Unit, is a key component of the A320's hydraulic system. It connects the green and yellow hydraulic systems, allowing them to support each other. When one of these systems experiences a pressure drop, the PTU automatically transfers pressure between them, ensuring essential functions such as landing gear, brakes, and flight controls remain operational. Think of the PTU as a hydraulic bridge between the green and yellow systems. It's a bi-directional unit, meaning it can transfer hydraulic power in either direction, depending on which system is losing pressure. This ensures that both systems remain operational, even if one is struggling or unavailable. Here's how it works. If, for instance, the yellow hydraulic system loses pressure because the engine is not running, let's say during single engine taxi, the PTU will transfer pressure from the green system to the yellow system. This way, the aircraft can still utilize the equipment connected to the yellow system, despite the loss of pressure. Let's go over some critical operational facts that are important to understand. First, the PTU performs a self-test during the start of the second engine. This ensures that everything is functioning correctly before it's needed during flight operations. The PTU activates automatically when the push button is set to auto, and there's a pressure difference greater than 500 PSI between the green and yellow hydraulic systems. This can happen during single-engine taxi operations when one engine-driven hydraulic pump is inactive. Since only one engine is running, the yellow system might lack sufficient pressure. The PTU senses this pressure drop and immediately kicks in, transferring pressure from the green system to the yellow system, keeping everything operational. Now, you might be wondering why it's not running all the time. Well, the PTU only activates when there's a pressure imbalance. During normal two-engine operations, both systems are fully pressurized, and the PTU remains dormant for most of the time. It's crucial to note that the PTU transfers pressure, not hydraulic fluid. This distinction is important because it means that the PTU is maintaining system pressure, but it's not capable of moving fluid from one system to another. There are specific scenarios where the PTU is inhibited to prevent unnecessary operation. It's automatically disabled during the following situations. 1. During and for 40 seconds after operating the yellow electric pump or the cargo doors. 2. During the first engine start. 3. When only one engine is running with the parking brake engaged. Another key point to remember is that the PTU continues to try and prop up a failed hydraulic system, even if that system has lost all its fluid due to a leak. For example, if the yellow system loses fluid, the PTU will still attempt to use pressure from the green system to support it. This can lead to overheating and potentially result in the loss of the second hydraulic system, which is why it's important to keep the PTU off in certain situations where you can manage without it. Finally, if there's an issue with the green or yellow hydraulic systems, you'll see a fault light on the PTU push button. This light doesn't indicate a PTU malfunction, but instead signals problems within either the green or yellow hydraulic systems, such as low fluid quantity, reservoir overheating, or low reservoir air pressure. Now, the PTU is completely mechanical. It doesn't rely on electricity or other external power sources, which makes it highly reliable. But here's the thing. Because it's a purely mechanical system, it operates with a distinct and, quite frankly, odd noise. 
Have you ever been on board an A320 and heard a strange barking or grinding noise? The noise is due to the mechanical nature of the PTU. It's a bit like a pump that's rapidly switching directions to equalize the pressure between the two hydraulic systems. This rapid switching creates the distinctive barking or grinding sound that you often hear on the ground when one engine is running, where there's a higher demand on the hydraulic systems. Because the PTU is highly reliable and doesn't rely on electricity or complicated electronics, it's seen as a robust solution for maintaining hydraulic pressure. Maintenance on the PTU is relatively straightforward since it's a mechanical unit with no electrical components. However, like all aircraft systems, it is periodically inspected to ensure optimal performance. Whilst being a relatively simple mechanical system has its benefits, there are also some drawbacks. One thing to keep in mind is that cold temperatures can affect the efficiency of hydraulic systems, including the PTU. In extremely low temperatures, the hydraulic fluid can thicken, causing the system to operate less efficiently and putting extra strain on components like the PTU. While the PTU is designed to handle these conditions, it's important to monitor hydraulic temperatures, especially during cold weather operations. If the fluid is too cold, the PTU might take longer to respond or work harder than necessary, potentially increasing wear over time. Thanks for tuning into this tutorial on the PTU.